You're not lazy, your brain is just wired to be this way, but it's also sabotaging you. It's your brain's natural survival instinct to choose immediate reward over long-term benefit. You promise yourself you'll go to bed early, eat better, write that novel, but then it's midnight and you're binge watching Netflix and eating ice cream. You think, I'll start tomorrow, but tomorrow never comes, does it? Look, it's not laziness, it's called hyperbolic discounting. Your brain's tendency to value instant rewards over future gains. Even when the future rewards are much better, your brain is wired to choose immediate pleasure over long-term payoff. Even when you know it's not the best choice for you. This is why you skip the gym, stay up too late, or procrastinate. So you're not bad at discounting discipline. You're wired for short-term survival, but it's low-key sabotaging your life. So how can you fix it? You can't just try one or two things and expect everything to change. This is where most people go wrong. They buy into the idea that discipline, journaling, or manifesting is a shortcut to transformation. But those are all surface-level solutions, actually. This is the gap that most influencers and self-help gurus miss. They tell you to follow a routine or manifest your dreams, but these methods are pointless unless you change the core of who you are. What's the core? It's your identity. You can't change your life if you haven't changed the way you see yourself. You can't use self-discipline as a quick fix when your identity still believes you're the kind of person who procrastinates. You can't be better unless you be better. You need to consciously choose to do better every single day. You need to shift your identity, not just tweak your habits. It's not about saying I'll eat better or I'm gonna work harder. It's about saying I am the kind of person who makes choices aligned with my future self. I am the kind of person who does the work even when it's hard. The most profound shifts happen when you make the choice to be somebody new. Not just try a little harder for a week or two, but to become someone who naturally shows up as the best versions of themselves without forcing it, without pretending, without faking. That's when you'll realize that 